be in this place, to be with my friend, my partner, along the way. I've thought uh, long and hard about what I might say this morning. Normally that's not the case, Governor. We just get up and help the night. We just tell it like it is. But today we will continue to tell it like it is. Governor, we're so honored that you would be here, the Attorney General. Henry Pugh, just the all-time greatest musician. <laughs> Fifth wedding anniversary of Linda and I, we asked Henry Pugh if he would just join a group of friends and for several hours we just played and sang Green River mm. over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> In December 1955, as Elton said, a young pastor, 27, answered the call of a newly created organization. At that time, the Montgomery Improvement <coughs> Association to sit and stand with Rosa Parks and many other foot soldiers to launch an effort that's already been acknowledged, change the world. Ten years later, that same person, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a stone's throw away right here at the Capitol, after leading that 25,000 person march for voter freedom, he spoke in part these words. Like an idea whose time has come, not even the marching of mighty armies can halt us. We're moving to the land of freedom. That message resonated then and as the theme of this birthday celebration today continues to resonate, forward march in unity, peace, and love. Dr. King went on to say, how long? And he answered, not long. Not long. Because a lie cannot live forever. We ask today, how long mm -hmm. can we not have a statue of Martin Luther King more moralized in Montgomery, Alabama?
Alabama is honored to partner with the city of Montgomery, with the Montgomery County Commission, to sponsor a life-size sculpture of Dr. King. This, I know that uh, Chairman Dean and Mayor Strange have had numerous conversations and discussions with Pastor Handy over the last several months. <laughs> and now, we can proudly say, it is on the way. All right. And today, I'm very excited to announce that the state of Alabama's tourism department has partnered with the state tourism departments of other states in the southeastern United States to launch the United States Civil Rights Trail. This unique memorial will honor not only Dr. King's legacy, but all the courageous men and women who stood and fought for civil rights and justice during the 50s and 60s. Through this collaborative promotional effort, the Civil the United States Civil Rights Trail will link over 130 landmarks across the nation and give the people of the world a chance to visit these very pivotal sites. And I'm also proud to acknowledge that Alabama has more restored and active landmarks relative to the Civil Rights Movement than any other state. In Alabama, there are 29 such sites found here throughout our state in Montgomery, Selma, and Birmingham are positioned at the forefront of where the yoke of segregation was forever broken. And I want to encourage everybody, not just Alabamians, but everybody across the world as well, to visit the website civilrightstrail.com. That's civilrightstrail.com to learn more about the churches, courthouses, museums, and other landmarks that have played such a key role in the civil rights movement. The U.S. Uh, Civil Rights Trail slogan is, what happened here changed the world. But while you're in here, while it's nice and warm, we're going to listen to some music from Brother Pew. Amen? Amen. Amen. Be sure. 